Item D, approve expenditures of up to $6,000 from the art fund for equipment and marketing materials for movies in the park. And our director of parks and recreation will talk about this. Randy? Thank you, Mr. Mayor and council members. Um, last year, the city of San Bruno held its first series of movies in the park, and they were very successful with attendance of 250 to 300 per show. They were held right here with a, with a portable screen being brought in and sound equipment brought in by a vendor. Uh, it was held just uh, between the Rotary Pavilion and the swimming pool area, and the crowd was sitting out in this area. Um, they went very well. It was um, assisted with the with community services staff and the Culture and Arts Commission. Um, there was a budget of $14,000 from the Public Art Fund that was put in to conduct the four movies this year. In looking at different approaches, we found a vendor who uh, would come in and do the work, provide the, the inflatable screen, the sound equipment, etc for a cost of only $4,000. The other option that the staff looked at was purchasing the equipment directly. And that same equipment would cost $4,700 um, for the sound system, the projector, et cetera. And then that, that uh, equipment can be used by the city for other events as we go throughout the year. The um, <coughs> area that was selected was the to show the movies, the idea was to switch the venue slightly. Um, instead of going here to Rotary Pavilion, coming here in front of the tennis courts and using the backboard of the tennis courts. And this is a, uh, an aerial shot from Google Earth of Diamond 2 and the tennis courts. And then coming down here, there is electrical at the end of the fence that was installed here for the baseball uh, pitching machines already and staff has gone out with the Culture and Arts Commission and tested it on a couple of occasions to make sure that everything functions out there. This is the view that the public would be seeing as they're looking at the, sc at the, at the screen, uh, the tennis backboard. Part of the proposal is to cover this with, with white material, with a, with a white um, uh, vinyl, like a banner type material. And as people are preparing for the movie, People will be picnicking out in the park. There will be, the playground is right there next to the tennis courts for the kids <coughs> to enjoy, and then back to the show. Um, what, I, what we did bring also is a quick video, uh, 22 seconds of the video to show, and we, we do not have this. The, this was done with a digital camera, as you can see, with the quality of the, the camera was not very good. Even the sky is blurry in this video. But it's just to give an idea that here is the uh, grass area, the lawn area, as you're looking up at the screen. This was also done um, a little bit earlier in the evening, and the lights were on, of the, on the ball field so that the quality is not as good. Um, and again, it would be covered with a, back, with, a, um, with a white screen instead. This is, so this is our teaser for the movies. And uh, there we go. So this is the first film Indiana Jones is, is being presented to the first, and these are the Friday <coughs> in September. And so the quality of this is more of the problem with the camera than it is of the screen, but it just gives the idea of looking up at the tennis backboard. Um, so again, the proposal is to spend $4,700 <coughs> from the Public Arts Fund for audiovisual equipment, and then $1,300 for for marketing materials, a banner to advertise, um, a popcorn machine, um, some other small items um, to make it a real festive night and invite the public to come to and, and have a great series of movies in the park. And <coughs> just to clarify for council, council's already approved $14,000. Right. That amount will that motion will be canceled. This motion is replacing that. So in essence, instead of spending $14,000 for movies in the park, we will be spending $6,000 for movies in the park. But we're also authorizing city staff to, with some of that art fund money, to purchase equipment to be used for that. So actually what we're looking at is an $8,000 savings. 
and we're authorizing the city staff to make the purchase. So I think it's great. Thanks for your work and testing it out. I mean, it's pretty hard to say no to an $8,000 savings, especially in, in these times, and where you're going to have additional savings in the ensuing years. But uh, I'll open it up to any questions from council. Okay. Not action from council. Uh, Gary, are you prepared to say a uh, comment on uh, some of the sponsorships that have uh, been collected to offset even even more? Um, I don't I mean, is, that's that's what I mean. There are some community sponsorships that have been collected, and that will go towards this balance also. Yes, we staff will be working with the Culture and Arts Commission to <coughs> to secure some some of the sponsorships. Okay. Through the chair, Councilor Director Schwartz. I can appreciate having the picnic sites and the barbecue, and I can appreciate having the toddler equipment available in case maybe the movie goes too long and they need a little extra acti activity. But has there been a concern as far as now the restrooms are across the street of traffic at night in lieu of it being at the rec center of the swim pool? And of course, the slope that we have going up to Diamond 3 enables kind of some tiering where now it's all flat. So that was, I mean, I know folks were out there testing it, so they were there firsthand. I wasn't, but I'm was just wondering about that one. That was that was one of the concerns of the Culture and Arts Commission as they went out to the site, and um, part of the idea is that that we can we can try it, um, make sure it works. After two times, if not, it would be a thousand dollars to then have the rental equipment come in and have them finish up the series. We will have a couple of part-time staff inc that are included in this six thousand dollar cost that will be helping out with the evening so they can help direct people the first couple times if need be. We can have um, the lights from the ball field. We will turn them on at the end of the movie so that people can make sure they have all of their belongings and safely get back to their cars to help with the lighting in that area. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Motion from council? <coughs> Motion to approve. Second. Motion and second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.